Hey, how can I help you today? I'm making a video about how I built you. That sounds awesome. How can I assist with your video? Let's pause here for a second and I'll come back to you. Is that okay? Of course. Just let me know when you're ready. Awesome. So we're going to take a look at how I was able to build what effectively is the OpenAI ChatGPT voice assistant using the same infrastructure they use, which is LiveKit. So here's a nice diagram that shows you that there's a little bit of speech to text and text to speech involved. Um, I think it's fascinating to see how this actually works. A couple of dependencies are, of course, OpenAI and DeepGram. So it's super easy to get this going. So first of all, get yourself the LiveKit credentials, which is pretty self-explanatory. No credit card required, as well as the DeepGram uh, credentials. So without talking code too much, of course, you're going to be using Python, which requires a virtual environment. You can install these dependencies and you can simply create a main.py using this code right here. So I'm using Z. Uh, I'm currently running both the back and front end. And so it's pretty straightforward. You can run the server and then you can create your Next.js project by simply running this in your terminal. You CD into that directory, install the live dependencies, again, export your credentials, um, and then creating this route, and then the UI, and then you run the project and you end up having this, okay? So again, you have just a couple of files, you have a main.py, and then when the uh, next project is created, you'll just have this page, the route, and you just run it. So once you run it, I'm gonna refresh here my local host, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have a connect button, and you're gonna activate your microphone, Hey, how can I help you today? Hey, thanks for coming back. And um, I just showed how I was uh, able to create you in about three minutes. That's awesome. Any questions or need help with something else? No, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go into the prompt and see if I can do something neat with it. Sounds good. Let me know how it goes.